excuse me. Excuse me, yes. Uh, hi, um, I think, I think you're my blind date. Hi. Hi, um, I, I'm Cassandra. Sorry, Cass Cassandra? Yeah, um, my, my friends told, sorry, I'm very nervous. My friends to told me you would be here this evening. Well, thank you for meeting me. Um, I don't often come to this bar. I normally don't go out at all, honestly. Sorry. I've, I've been worried about this all week, and, um, now that I've, I've, I've seen you, wow, you, you are very cute. I'm so, I'm so sorry, that was very forward. Would you like to get a drink and find a seat, maybe? You, you would? Okay, um, here, why don't you sit down at the booth? Um, what would you like to drink? Uh-huh. Gotcha. Okay, do you want a, a small one, a large, large Okay, 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 I'll be right back. <laughs> Gosh, I forgot straws. Uh, hold, hold on one sec. Um, right there over there. Okay. Ah, here we are. Two straws. I always have to use a straw because I don't want to mess up my lipstick. <laughs> Stop, you'll make me blush. Okay, um, anyway, help. So, sorry, I, I forgot to even ask you your name. Wow, so, so, you know, I'm, I'm Cassandra, and, and your name is? Oh, well, that's a lovely name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, so, so what do you do? Oh, wow. Oh, that's, that's really interesting. <laughs> okay, oh, that's cool. That's, that's really, you, you'll have to tell me, um, you'll have to tell me all about it sometime. Yeah, I, I'd like that. Um, so, so I just started working, um, at the office down the street. Yeah, I was recommended it by a friend of mine. Oh, we do everything together. We, actu we actually live together. Yeah, her, myself, and, um, her friend. Uh, just a friend. Please don't. Please don't ask me any more questions about that. It's just a friend. Um, oh no, no, I'm I'm fine. Everything is everything is everything is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, sorry. This is not really good behavior for first date, is it? Oh my. Um. So. So. Um. Do you come here often? I mean, to this bar. Yeah, um, n me neither. It just opened up the other day, and well, I've only ever um, been past it once before with my roommate. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's very outgoing. <laughs> she's very forward. Yeah, she's great. She's a big inspiration to me, actually. Uh, she's the reason why I... I, I could come on this date with you. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's awesome. Maybe you'll get to meet her sometime. Soon. I mean, what? Oh, oh nothing. I didn't say anything. I just said maybe you'll get to meet her sometime. Soon. Um, yeah. Oh. Wow, I never noticed before about the decor in here. You know, it's all pretty neat. Mm. I like that picture over there, the one of the cat. I like cats. Do you have any pets? Oh. Oh, that's cool. Mm hmm Um, yeah, I wanted a cat, but... Um, 
my roommate's friend friend is allergic to cats yeah they they are allergic to cats mm. so we're not allowed to have a cat it's unfortunate I'd like to have lots and lots and lots of cats and maybe some cat girls and cats I love cats yeah <laughs> mm. Mm. yeah hey how's your drink is it good good I'm so glad <laughs> Yeah, well, mine is pretty good too. Although, um, well, I'm a bit nervous because I do have something to ask you. Uh, it's it's not usually my style to do this, but um, well, I may have done something a bit bad. I'm really sorry. Well, oh no, you're doing that look where your eyes start to glaze over a little bit. Either I'm boring you or, well, the effects are starting to kick in. Whoopsie. <laughs> well, um, I, this isn't normally my style, but my roommate is kind of showing me the ropes in what she does. And well, it's a lot more difficult than I thought. She said it would be really easy to be a yandere, but now I'm finding it very difficult. I do really like you, and you're very cute, but I'm very nervous. Um, so, I guess what I have to ask you while you're still conscious is, um, is it, is it, is it okay if I, um, if I take you home with me? I mean, te technically you might call it kidnapping, but it's not really kidnapping is it if you're willing yeah i mean surely it's um it's not as bad if if you if you consent to it so um do you want to be kidnapped i guess is that okay oh it is oh you're those you you're one of those people huh oh, oh my goodness i, I lucked out huh? <laughs> oh sorry um I try not to act that excited about it. Um, well, okay, well, this is the, the thing that I put in your drink is, is going to kick in really soon, so we should probably get out of here. Here, why don't you hold my hand, you know, for balance and stability, and also because you're adorable and mm, I've never held hands with anyone before. Yeah, take mine. And if you feel slightly woozy, you can always, uh, you know, lean on my shoulder a little bit. It's okay, I'll, I'll be strong. <laughs> Um, my, my car is out back, so if you come with me, we can go into my, into my car. Yep. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Is it a van? Oh, I guess it is a van. Wow. I really am just fitting all those, uh, typical stereotype kidnapper things, huh? <laughs> oh, wow. All right, come on, let's go quickly. Okay, just act natural. If we pretend nothing is wrong, then no one will notice. And hey, thanks for helping me through this. This is my first time doing this, so... Um, I'm not experienced like my roommate is. Oh, she's a pro yandere. Yeah, she's, um, she's taken a fair few people. We have one in the basement right now. They're very comfortable, it's okay, she gives them pancakes on the daily. Honestly. I won't lie, I'm not a good cook, so you can't expect pancakes from me. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're looking really out of it. Here, yeah, try and walk in a straight line. Or just follow behind me there. I'll just kind of guide you along like this. There we go. Don't worry about it. I've got your hand, honey. I'll take care of you. All right, now here we go. This is your door. Let me open it for you. Mm, there we go. Now hop on in. Alright, there we go. <sighs> Comfy. Alright, I'll come around my side. There we go. Oh, cool. Wow, it's dark out here in the parking lot. No one can see us under the cover of darkness. 
It's probably a better environment for kidnapping than inside. Oh. Oh, honey. You look so tired. Yeah. Why don't you just lean back in the seat for a sec? And I can just stare at you, adoringly. You know, I'm gonna take good care of you. You know, from the moment I saw your eyes when I walked in for our blind date, I knew you were gonna be the one. Well, you know, the one that I was going to, uh, that I was going to have for myself. I don't know, sometimes I see what my roommate has with their partner. And I always wanted it for myself. She looks at them so adoringly. Like she can't think of anything else but them. And I just wanted someone else like that for myself. And <laughs> now I have you. And, well, I just, I don't know, I guess I thought a nerd like me, who's shy and awkward, could never be a great yarn today, like my roommate, and I just wanted somebody to just, you know, to fawn over, I guess. keep saying it, but you are very cute. And I do think that soon, maybe, maybe you could even feel that way about me. Maybe, just maybe, the right persuasion, you could fall for me as hard as I fall for you. And I'll take good care of you. You know that, right? I'm not like all those other girls who just want you to dote on them. No, no. I want to dote on you. I want to take care of you and look after you. And the only thing I want in return is complete and total loyalty to me. I don't want you to think about other girls or look at other girls, or be near other girls, or, you know, even be in the same vicinity as other girls ever again. That's perfectly fine, right? Well, we can discuss it further later, I guess. It's a lot for the first date, I know, but it's just, well, you never forget your first, do you? First kidnapping, that is. Well, I mean, it seems to have gone off without a hitch. You're looking very tired at this point. And um, while you're here in the car... Oh, here, let me get that seatbelt for you. Safety first. There we go. I wouldn't want you getting hurt. No. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Hmm. Your shoulder's comfortable. Well, you probably didn't even notice my head there, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have asked, can I put my head there? I can, okay, good. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't go home just yet, maybe we should just stay here for a bit. And just, I don't know, doze off together. You can sit in this parking lot looking up at the stars. Well, until the owner of the bar comes out, sees us looking suspicious, so I drive off in a hurry anyway. Hmm, it's nice. Being out here, I guess. Yeah, it's like camping. But inside your car. It's cool, right? Oh, sleepy head. <laughs> Those, uh, those pills hit you quite hard, didn't they? Whoops, I may have used too many. What's well, okay, honey. You might just start to feel a little more drowsy than usual. 
I said than usual because you're probably going to have these again. <laughs> probably a few times. That's okay. You've been very cooperative. Really, it's made my job very easy. You see, my roommate, I heard with hers, she had to really struggle to get them inside the house. Yeah, the last one, she put, had to, like, physically push them inside. I wouldn't want to do that to you. No. Besides, I'm actually not that strong. I probably couldn't push you in even if I wanted to. But the fact that you just came with me so sweet and cute and nice and just mm. anyway we should probably get you home now let's go